Hey people, Indrid here. Welcome back finally to Age of Wonders 4. Sorry for the delay. I had some illness which really messed up my throat for a while. For those of you that don't read or don't get the uh, community post things on YouTube. I know they're easy to miss. But we're back now. Still not 100% on my throat. But good enough. What's been going on in the Age of Wonders? Well, we just subjugated Gideon. And now we have to take out Sinran and Anura. Looks like Sinran is the most dangerous of the two. They already have their heart structure up, so they could start a magic victory. Here's some Gideon armies here that might go and pressure them. I have no idea exactly what I was doing. It's been a week, uh, like 10 days maybe since I played because of the throat. Okay, these guys can be integrated and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested. I'm just going to end the turn. We'll see what the next turn brings. I am pure evil on turn 90. Alrighty then. Tons of gold and a decent chunk of mana with good income for both. I think we're saving up mana, I remember, to get the Demon Kin transformation. I should have checked that. I think it's 600, isn't it? Yes. Let's do this. Gives us flying. Frenzy. Frenzy's amazing. Burning immunity. And desolate walk. Okay. Sounds like a hoot. It's gonna take us a couple of time a couple of turns to cast that. This is the XP one, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Always forget to use it. Meanwhile Oh, we just put an outpost up here to get this layer of silk. Uh, oh we can get teleporters on them now. Yeah, just give me a work camp. Not things I really need to be doing at this point. It's just like a murder fest now. But uh, let's 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 charge. I guess I could get another work camp and get this um, rainbow clover here. That'll be all right. You can get more than one, I think. Pretty sure. So we have this is Keralash. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight Anora right here. That was right. <laughs> Let's do it then. We got some pretty chunky armies here. It's a safe battle. Is that Anura themselves? It is. How are you still level four, buddy? Let's see how the auto does. Does pretty well. Well enough, I think. We got some income there. All oh, those guys perished. Is there any way that that would force Anura to consider? Oh, right, I keep forgetting you can't negotiate when they're dead. To consider bending the knee to me. Which saves us a lot of time. We'll go and siege Night Court, Night Fort now. Up there. Demon Kin still on the way. Is there anything I can summon in? Watchers. Oh yeah, phase beasts. They're super expensive though. Is there anything in here I want to replace with a watcher? I don't think so. Kind of happy with what they've got going on. I know the Furies are tier 2s, but they're really bloody good. Really bloody good. I don't know... Oh, you just got this outpost up. Why Why did you get this outpost up? I've forgotten. Oh, Cursed Keep. Yes, give me a work camp. And now... Um, I don't know, just going to hang around, I suppose. Oh, Anura put a city there. What a weirdo. Can you get on it? You can. And I'm just going to raise it, I suppose. Good thing I saw that right on my screen. Here's some Sinran armies. They do have a war breed. And some tier 3 spell break. It's not sure what's up with these fellas. But they look cool. Why are their arms so big? That's a lot of damage, potentially. What is this now? Sign of Flame I'm getting up. Just apparently. Uh, you guys just stay here. I don't want you chasing those armies, really. This guy got an outpost. Oh, for that Ruins Peak over there. Ritual of Alacrity. Just get a work camp. 
I think I spotted, I think spotted in, in the next update, which is coming June 20th alongside the first DLC, they are going to allow you to remove city ruins, which is nice. Demolish them. I wonder if it'll cost gold. It might just take turns. I can't remember what I saw now. Uh... Yeah, there's that astral rift. It looks like Fangir's going after it. So I'm going to put you on auto explore. I don't know if you'll actually find anything. But that's fine. You just stay in here. These guys, sure, just keep moving up. Outpost founded. Yes, it was. Don't abort anything. Spell is ready to launch. We could lightning torrent. Some of these guys, I guess it doesn't matter. They're in friendly territory. Well, they're right next to friendly territory. So they would heal up very fast. Oh, and there's a spell jammer. I think it said. Yeah, there's a spell jammer up there. Does that stop allied spells as well? A new rally has started. I can get fire giants, which is quite fun. They cost Imperium per turn. Entwined Scourge. Corrupt souls are fun too. I think I want to go for try and get Balors going though. Oh, someone said you can get Balors with. Do I have it? The fight for power. If you produce two Chaos Eaters, which are tier fours, make them fight for power, you'll get a Balor. So maybe we'll go for that in Inferno Peak. Because I can make them, right? I can. Let's go for it. Why not? I was insulted by by my vassal Gideon. And by Sinron, which makes more sense. Well, I guess it makes sense both times. Doesn't have to like me to be my vassal. Why does, why does the AI do this? I guess they're just forming new armies, fair enough. But sometimes they seem to, like, take the same armies and just put them somewhere else in bits. Very strange. Like, why didn't they move that guy in, into that four stack? Well, here we go. Is Sinran in here? No. Oh, yes, it is. I don't know if I can reach them, though. I can't reach them. Oh, well. Oh, these guys are kind of messed up, eh? Now, this would be friendly territory, right? So they heal up. It must be. It's a vassal. Yeah. And I've got Horn of Plenty. Now there is a Imperium thing for more health regen in friendly territory. Where is it? There it is. Let's grab that. Sure. Seems fine. Oh, I could gain a bunch of draft to get the uh, the Chaos Eaters up. Let's do that. Must have got one of them, right? Where is my bloody capital? Stop spinning around. There we go. Hey, got them both. So now I can cast Fight for Power. And we'll get a couple of Chaos Eaters everywhere for that, if I can. Oh, what do I need? I need a certain province, don't I? Yeah. Start getting more over here, I suppose. rush that one and these places can just spend the draft on war breeds yeah oh berserkers I like berserkers as well I only got one berserker in all of my armies I think scald berserker and we'll get a one turn berserker after that and rush it Good stuff. Not that I really need any of these things, but... Get them to the front line to reinforce losses. I mean, I might need them if I, if I take losses. Sure, just in this general area. Over here. There's the two war breeds. Send them down towards that. These Chaos Eaters. Send them forward. 
so they're closer to the front when they turn into a Valor. I did start the other one, right? Yes. And you guys also move up. Map getting a little bit herky-jerky at this late game here. Hopefully they do an optimization pass as well. Yeah, you just stand on the watchtower. That's where you live. Probably have a whole home and family set up there by now. All right, these guys are marching towards Anura. To do with some pillaging. Wait, why is it three turns and no money? Is it because it's one of these root structures? Mm. It is. I'm not sure if that would have healed me then. We can't quite make it to the farm with these guys, which is annoying. Meanwhile, oh, down here. Oh, this thing. Yeah, I'm not going to do the fight right now. But I'm going to stand in friendly territory. I wonder if they would have the balls to attack me. I don't want these guys getting too close because I don't want them diluting my stacks. Yes, I know you can remove stacks from the fight, but if they attack this stack, then they will have to join it. Which I don't want to happen. I think in overall, the three stack limit hurts the AI because humans are always going to be better at combat and now they can't outnumber you. 18 versus 18 is the, is the most you can get. They can't 4v3 you now with superior numbers. Uh, you guys come and help out Gideon defending Brilliantium here. You guys are just going to hang out right here. There's his Scion of Flame. Which seems good to cast. Mental Mark. Phasing. All of our battle mages and stuff can phase. That seems alright. Sure. Probably be super expensive. But you have good mana income. Oh, finally. We got the Town Hall thing. That's good. That's all good. Yep, Berserker produced. Warbreed produced. I'm aware of all these things. Thank you. Message received. What's up, Fangir? They like trading grievances. Is that what I did? When did I trade a, grie trade a grievance? I broke a treaty with that guy, apparently. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What treaty did I break? Oh, they did attack me. It's a high-risk battle, they say. Really, now? I am damaged, I suppose, because they do take that into account. That might be it. They don't even have a full stack here. No, I pressed auto. Just out of habit. We'll see how it goes. Didn't actually mean to press auto there. And they did it without a loss. They did take tons of damage, but fine. That's fine. That's fine. Not even the AI knows how to judge the auto combats. Because yeah, it is taking like a sum of current health and level and abilities and stuff. And I think heroes massively sway those auto combat predictions as well. Just keep tearing through those guys. That was a massive heal we got on the start of our turn. Superb. Level 15 now with our ruler. Which means we get the 15 signature skill. Which seems pretty difficult to get. I mean, we're over turn 90. Not very good at making my XP gain efficient though. Warding Bond, don't want that. None of these are great. I guess that's alright. Visions of Woe gives us a bit more astral affinity, which doesn't really matter at this point, but there you go. We did get a point to spend as well. What do we want? Sure. I wonder if that stacks with multiple heroes in a fight. Spell amplification. Oh, there's Weirdgate. And Sinran's dead, so we're going to knock them out of the game here. Oops. Damn it, I moved that guy out of friendly territory. I wish it let you undo strategic map moves if it doesn't reveal anything, but I might have revealed something anyway. Well, these guys can move. I guess you don't need to move. These guys can move back here to get a big burst of healing next turn. Here are some war breeds. Sure, just move towards Aos. They, didn't, they never started their spell, did they? Never started their 
if I win the game spell. I don't remember getting a notification for it, but I'm sure I miss notifications and stuff. Okay, here's the two Chaos Eaters, and we can do the fight for power thing. Yeah, Balor! A tier 5 Mythic takes 7 Imperium and 60 mana to upkeep this thing. Powerful melee. Sunder the Earth, 4 hex line, 3 hexes wide. Bloody hell. And this thing. Make something berserk and do a bunch of damage to them. Unit turns into a tier one. Oh. Permanently under my control or just. I guess. Or well, they just disappear at the end of the fight. I don't know. 150 health and 6 and 5. It's a big boy. There is the um, end of the chaos line here to get a special Balor with power from slaughter. It's pretty fun. I need a swig of water. There we go. Alrighty. What are you guys up to? Alright. Pushing Night Fort. Still do with some more pillaging. A lot of stuff waiting in there. I don't want to get oops, too far away from this army. So I'll just go there. These guys still have movement. Just wait. Did the Balor has full movement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and get them down here. I don't know if they'll even get to fight. Yeah, you, you can stay where you are. There's phasing enchantment. Can I afford to maintain that? Tier 5 tomes. Tome of the Chaos Lord. There's the summon Balor. Demonic Onslaught. Insight Rebellion. Call forth Avatar of Chaos. Summon an Avatar of your ruler in battle. Avatar has the same abilities as your leader and spawns with full action points. All fiends and demon kin get plus 10 morale. They like that. Sure, sounds fun. It shows how how slow my knowledge income was Delight in for so long. Thrive but I'm only on tier 5 terms now. Let's do the summon Balor. We got the reduction on it too. I mean, it's still pretty low. For turn 93, 580 knowledge income is, is not great. We went... I went much harder into... Um... Oh, another Chaos Eater. Much harder into just warfare and stuff, just having armies up. Oh, we can do the Demonkin. Transform! There we go. Looking dapper. I need another... Fight for power. For another Balor. And you can... Try to join these fights. Yeah, lose the teleport. I love the thought of a Balor getting in a teleporter. What are you doing? Why are you asking me things? I don't know. I don't know. I just click things without without realizing. Spells are ready. Sinrin's withdrawn to the void. The remains of this idiot has been collected. I'm getting good income from this. Good income. Let me just te check and make sure oh, you can actually annex something. All you can grab is this hut, though. But I guess that's what you're getting. You can't annex. Well, I mean, you might be able to, but... You've got no space. Do not rename. Inferno Peak. You can't quite annex yet. 17 turns before you grow, okay. Beacon of Valor coming in. None of this stuff is really needed, but... I'll let them build it. Next turn. Game is basically won. We've broken both of those AI players. Just need to take their thrones out or subjugate them. I think we're actually quite lucky in this game. Hey, what's up? 
pandem demoniac. In a recurring dream, a terrible battle or endlessly battles a radiant shrine of smiting atop a mountain. We've had this terrible dream since we embraced chaos, but tonight it feels as if avatars of chaos and order will settle their eternal conflict and determine who shall inherit astral seas, ashen ruins. We discern more god ear of order of chaos, all witnessing a duel, their eyes flooded with fear. The Balon notices you and bellows. Embody chaos, overlord Draka should have twisted. Demolish this false idol. Do you have do you dare interfere? Strike down the shrine of smiting and bind the the Balor. I lose all but one hit point and gain a Balor unit. Immolate the Balor. The Shrine of Smiting and myself. Which gives Oh, I just die. Gives me a chaos boon. Get huge amounts of stability and I unlock the Tome of Pandemonium. Why can't I do this? I don't know. I can avert my eyes. I'm going to do this one. This is the... This is a example of being evil giving you... I mean, it's not a bad event per se, but it's an, it's an event that costs you stuff rather than the good events that just give you things. So does that mean we have a Balor near Drakeshu now? We do. Awesome. You go back in there. Here is Rosie. There's Drakeshu. So I'm gonna take out the War Shaman. Who's, I think, was with me since the start of the game. You can join those guys. And we attack the Weird Gate. 12 turn siege. Bloody hell. At least we have three slots. Big guns, big guns. Construct Devastator Spheres, yes. Gets it down to seven. All the rest are two, aside from Headlong Assault. Will this just kill my leader? If they just take 20 damage. Well, it's not going to be... It's not going to be when they're still on one hit point, is it? So, it'll be alright. And we'll undermine the walls, I suppose. I don't think we need that. If I just add any other one. We do have stuff. Do I have something that can break towers? Let's construct some onagers, sure. Yeah, got it down to five still. So let's keep. No. Let's keep Drakeshu in friendly territory here. Or I suppose they could pillage something, couldn't they? Yeah. And you just. And well, I guess you can heal up a bit more. You stay there too. I don't think those guys are going to sally out and attack my six stack. Meanwhile, a Balor. You can join this army, I suppose. No, I think you should join Tobil's army. Mm. Yeah. What the heck do I give up, though? Do we give up a fury? To champion level fury. I think I'm going to give up one of these magma spirits. I know I'm giving up a tier 3. But those Furies are bloody good, I tell you. They are bloody good. We're not going to attack this turn, I don't think. But we'll get there. Orders required on these guys. Just head up here in case you're needed. Orders required again. Well, Anura's throne cities underground, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I want this Balor down here to join one of these guys. Some war breeds. Go up there. Hey, there's the work camp, which doesn't matter. But now... Oh no, someone needs to stand on it, I think. I always forget that. Where's that scout? There you are. I know it doesn't matter, but come and stand on the, on the layer of silk. I want it. You produced a work camp now. I can grab that. So I will. You can grab a bunch of stuff. Ah, but not this. 
Needs to be stepped on as well, I think. Uh, we'll do that first then. It just says I have a claim on it, but I don't have it. It's not, it's been cleared for sure. Thunder Swamp. Completed a thing, good for you. Do some more stuff eventually. Um, guess I can lightning torrent. Some crap over here. Just keep having it ready. Uh, I don't need to do it again. Anura is back. Can we just subjugate, subjugate you? Wait, how big is your... Yes, yeah, 115. It's going to take a while to siege it down. Can we just have you... Nope. Oh, they're a sinister spy, so they won't go for it. Okay. I guess you have to die then. I am going to go for this first. Just weaken them more. And we end the turn. Oh, Gideon. Is Gideon doing anything? Are you attacking stuff, buddy? Not really. Just kind of hanging out. Fangir. I don't know if they got the Astral Rift. I don't know what they did. They just went past it. I guess they're kind of just exploring this area. You can't get there this turn. It sucks. You guys carry on. Okay, now we can start this siege. Maybe Anura will come up here. Only three turns. We will throw some stuff in. All of the things. Don't mind the walls. One turn until breach is what I'd like to see. Make sure everyone's in on it. In case they sally out. Balor, head south. Nobody cracked this open, eh? I need to get this ready again. I don't think I'm going to do more Chaos Eater stuff. It doesn't say that it has to be your army. I'm going to see if this works. Is it going to turn it into a Balor under my control? Oh, target not valid. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, you continue going somewhere. Now, where the hell you went? There we go, we've got a nice six stack here. Oops. There's those war breeds we might try to trade in. I don't know what for. <laughs> Probably replacing these magma spirits. I mean, they're bloody good. But big fellas with axes are really fun. So, how much does this heal me for? Can I pillage? Is it better to pillage or just stand in friendly territory? Hmm. Stand in friendly territory. Uh -huh. Yeah, you still have a fury. I mean, he's a legendary fury. Two watchers. Can just summon Balors. Oh, I can't. 300 mana. Fair enough. Evoker. Oh, there's the Evoker unit. That Sinran was using. Scry enemy. Okay. Fight for powers ready. Bunch ready to launch and turn. What just happened? Oh, Sinran is going for magic victory. It's not going to work out for you, buddy. It's not going to work out for you. There's Sinran themselves. Am I able to make you a punk? No. War duration greater than 10 turns. Okay. You have to be at war with someone for greater than 10 turns to make them subjugate. I guess we're just wiping you out then. I wonder if Gideon's going to push against this Heart of Chaos now. At least they casted it. I mean, they took their bloody time, but they did cast it. We can now breach here, right? 
Yes, we can. Should be easy. And if we do do stuff, we have replacements right there. Nope, we're good. I'm always worried about phase beasts because the AI loves to just teleport any unit that can any unit that can teleport. They just teleport them into death a lot of the time. Same thing with the magma spirits. But they've been okay with them. Raise it, of course. Nothing stands. You can die as well. Good stuff. And down to the underground passage, I suppose. Can you guys make it down there? No. Well, only one of my stacks can. Hello, there's Anura. So now I can't get back up, which is annoying. This guy's going to get 3v1. They might. You have a Balor in this army. Can they take that? I could try to teleport them with mass recall. Back to the nearest owned city. I'm going to do it just in case. I don't want to... Oh, it's blocked by, blocked by the spell jammer. Fair enough. I guess we're not doing that. Yeah, and you can't move at all. I mean, it's a massive risk to bring them down here, but... We might lose that army. Yeah, it might be that you're limited to 1v1 on a passage. Maybe. I think that's only if they're on the other side, though. And we're on the same side of, as those guys. Obviously, those fellas can't get through either. You could move the phase beast off, but it doesn't really help. You can move the, move the phase beast one hex and get one of those war breeds through, I think. Yeah, so that gives us seven units at least. Oh, and then maybe... Yeah, just keep moving them. Now, if we get both war breeds through, maybe some other stuff as well. Yeah, because these heroes can run and things. They might be able to get through. Maybe. You only have 12. You only have 9. I have 18 movement. Ah, oh, you can't get down there. Aww. I was looking at the levels, not at their movement. I don't know if you're able to enter. No. Need more movement than that. Fair enough. We'll see how that goes. This Balor is slowly moving down here. This is now mine, which means I can annex it. Haha. -ha. I guess we'll keep... Oh, wait. Can't... Oh, you can't get more than one work post thing. I thought you could get two. I guess not. And you now have to come and stand on this eventually. You guys just wait here so you stop bothering me, please. You guys are healing up the glorious leader there. This is a siege thing, yet. Yeah. Oh, I need to do more research, dum dum. Golden Horde summons a full army of random non scout tier 1 units. Okay. Call forth the Avatar of Chaos. Now, is there anything I can summon in. Oh, there's Gideon, look. Gideon's doing stuff. Hold on, Gideon. I can summon these less things. I can summon a Watcher. Oh, I can't. Spell Jammer stops the summons as well. Fair enough. Doomkeep got a blacksmith. And now they need to produce something else. Uh, sure, but this game may not last that long. But try it. 
you can just stay on produce merchandise now. Wait. Let's just do this forever. Let's just do it forever. Hero leveled up. This is Tovil. Level 12. Oops. You're already on the thing, dumbass. Keen edge. There's so much good stuff here. Summons a random tier 1 fiend whenever this unit kills something. Killing momentum also superb. I want keen edge though, I think. Just 20% crit chance is amazing. And they've got 9 defense now. That's pretty good. Give me that. Awesome options there. Another hero leveled up. This is Delrec. Who's a little bit more tanky, maybe. But we'll just get flame. Flame burst is mental. 20% crit chance and explode stuff when you kill it. It's nuts. It's nuts, I say. Mass recourse ready. Sinrin's returned. A war between other rulers has ended. Oh, those guys called it quits. They're in trouble. Rulers were denounced. I don't care. End the turn. See if Anura comes after me underground. They've got to, right? No, they did not. They did not think the fight was good for them, so they ran. I mean, fair enough. What do we want in this army now? Yeah, we dropped the magma spirits, I think. We go like that. Big fellas with axes only. You can now enter and make some space. And these guys can enter and, and make some space. You may as well bring these guys as well to replace any losses and that kind of thing. And there's the Dusk Vault. Does anyone need to... Where is the spell jammer? We need to get on that, that's for sure. Mm. Well, we may not need to, but it would be nice to. I've unlocked the beacons of unity. Oh, because I'm so nice. I can do the expansion victory. That's weird. Because I have so much territory now. Okay, I think we... I think we replace a Fury with a Balor. These guys are basically fully healed up. You guys can join over there. Two turns until Breach. You are off doing something that's not terribly important. But I'm compelled to do it anyway. Uh, you can pillage that to get some health on that phase beast. You can't move. You can't move, okay. Uh, oh, we've got a unit from raising that city. Just go and auto-explore or something? I don't know. Nothing that needs to be done here, I don't think. Oh, we can, um, we can get a city cap up. I don't know why. I don't know what I'd do with that. I can do this. Yeah, do this. Give me a big old Balor. <coughs> Means we lose some population. But it's a big boy. I don't know if you're going to be able to get to a fight. Probably not. Six turns to get there. But you can just chill out. Chill out in Inferno Peak. As a monument to our chaos. Oh, they got a defensive pact up. I mean, makes sense. Turn 98. Huh? Off you go. Alright. What does this summoning well do? Combat summons in a domain cost no mana. Not for me, I imagine. But that's cool. Wait. Combat summon spells. Oh, there aren't that many of those, are there? <laughs> Let me find the spell jammer, please. Am I just blind? Is it back here? Oh! Does this count as a spell jammer or something? Counts as a conduit. Research post. Is it this? 
counts as a conduit. I don't know where the spell jamming is coming from. There you are. Of course, I can't quite make it there. But we will. Staring you down, Anura. End of the line for you. Next turn over here as well. There's Golden Horde. Which is actually quite fun. Abyssal Flames. We can mess up terrain. Insight Rebellion. It's a siege project. Two enemy units are mind controlled. That is very fun. They got an, a, a full alliance up. I mean, it makes sense. It does make sense. I don't think there's anything we need to do here. Didn't we get another thing up? Yeah, Sign of Flame. We can do that. Vengeful Flames is quite good. We'll save up for that. We've much less mana income now. There's no way to produce manual, mana on your cities, is there now? Like there was in Age of Wonders 3. I don't think there is. No, just produce merchandise, or down here would be food if you leave it blank. Right? Yeah, convert draft to food. Fair enough. Okay. Knock out the spell jammer. Start the siege. Nine bloody turns. We do all the big stuff. Onagers and rebels in blood. No, we'll do undermine the walls. I might do that. No, it's okay. I'd have to wait if I wanted to put that thing in. I'm not waiting three turns. So five turns for the siege. Everyone's pretty much healed up. I guess you can raise that and get some stuff. Do any of these help them? The summoning well does. So let's raise that as well. I guess they don't fly on the world map, eh? What the hell did the wings do? I'm very confused. It might be a lesser flight. Maybe they only have flight in combat. There was a... I think there was one unit, maybe two units that had that in Age of Wonders 3 where they could fly in combat but not on the world map for balance reasons. It's like a low tier unit. You don't want flying around the map and stuff. Uh, fine. A breach is made in the weird gate. Attack. Just going to auto combat this, guys. It's a big boom. That um, raiding parties or whatever that trait was called was pretty fun. Now we can celebrate your death. With more Imperium, I guess. Get a bunch of draft. Get good alignment. We'll just do this. Give me some Imperium. I'm going to get the city cap up. It really doesn't matter. Oh, is there anything up here we can get? What's this? New magic origin. Let's get plus three rank. That's pretty good. Do this. Gets you onto 855 knowledge doing that. Immediately summon a bunch of stuff. Gain knowledge whenever you gain a rank. Yeah, that's alright. We'll do that. Sinran is dead. Which means their spell is cancelled. We're going to raise the crap out of this city just because we can.
if it was a long-term game, the better call there would be to maybe vassalize a city so big, but you get so much gold out of that raise. So maybe not. Oh, hero leveled up. Trench, hey buddy, how you been doing? Didn't quite get to level 15. Sure, flame burst weapons, there you go. Another hero leveled, it's Rosi. The ranged hero. You have a triple shot weapon, right? Yeah, so killing momentum isn't as great for you. We'll get the uh, demonic slaughter then. Summon a fiend when you kill a thing. The remains of Vela have been found. Sinran's dead. Captured this chick. Execute them. I don't know why we get that sound effect when we execute them. I'm now losing mana. Why? What did I do? Wasn't I at like a hundred mana? What did I do? We got some fiends here that are for some reason heavily damaged. They're taking nine each. I don't know where they came from. Oh, I must have got them from the fight. I guess they are permanent. We'll get rid of those to give us some positive mana, please. I'm sure there's some straggler units around that we could get rid of. Like you, that were auto exploring, I think. Get rid of you. <coughs> and we'll end the turn. And put down Anura. I guess we'll do Anura's fight, maybe. Just so there's the fight in this episode. I don't know what the hell you guys are going to do now. Anything cool around here? Not really. That's already been. <laughs> Emptied out. I mean, there's some more cities to go and pillage, I guess. I don't know if we'll get there. Four turns for this. Fine. You get in there. You get in there. The others can kind of back away a bit. Oh, we already pillaged that, I think. And there's much else down here. Inferno Peak wants to produce something, do ya? Anything that gives me... There we go, casting points. Sure. I'm just gonna rush it. Because I've got cash. I could never get an academy up here. Set production for Doom Keep. Mm, nope. You can just get me some gold there, fellas. I don't know who you're merchandising your stuff to. Everyone's dead. Maybe my vassals, I guess. Hey, Doom Keep can annex. Well done. Get a Forester, sure. Spells ready to launch. I was insulted. And turn. Just need to hit and turn a lot. Delvers of Secrets, the chairman of the council, Chaos Elves Council comes before you. An ornate book in their hands, in his hands. This, he says with the pathos, is the legacy of the Chaos Elves. In ages past, tribes, kingdoms, and entire realms have disappeared into the mists of time, their knowledge seemingly lost forever. But with great dedication and spellcraft, much that was forgotten can be rediscovered, like runic messages carved deeply into the hidden roots of this world. We have compiled a book of tutelage ready for transcription. So that all Chaos Elves may be, may be guided to study the past. You are wise. This knowledge will reshape us. And we get the Mark of the Owl trait. Which gives us Shadow Affinity. Scissors of this race have minus 20 stability when there is no cleared Ancient Wonder in their domain. Do we have a cleared Ancient Wonder in every domain? I don't think Inferno Peak does. Hmm. Lose his knowledge, and we don't have to take that trait. We lose stability. I'm just going to do this. Don't give me a weird trait. That might mess up my stability. It's fine. Well, this one does. 
you do. But yeah, I don't think Inferno Peak has a wonder. Because it's a throne city. They don't have wonders that close to them. This one doesn't either. We never got the, the Lover's Spring. Maybe we should go stand someone on that, eh? Uh, yeah, I don't think any of you are going to get up to that city to bust it open. There we go. That was worth all the effort, wasn't it? Fine, you're fine. Insight Rebellion is ready. We can get another tome. And these tier 4 astral ones, I suppose. None of them really matter. What is this? Whatever. Select anything. It's all good. When you alter the currents of the... Oh, I need to actually select a thing, dumbass. Arcane Maelstrom. Sure. It's a siege project. It literally does nothing for us. But sure, I don't want any production there. Trade proposal? Oh, Anura wants peace. It's not going to happen. Nope. That was a pathetic offer of peace as well. I guess you don't have, you don't have much to give right now. going to force an end turn here. You guys can go along your paths. Oh. Capture and release. Which means... Yeah, we got the Lover's Spring. Look at that. Go back to your tower, buddy. Probably your family's probably hanging out there. Go end turn. I don't know why Magic Victory is being trapped. Why is it being trapped for? Was I looking to see if someone else was doing it? Does it even tell you that stuff? Still another turn. Arcane Maelstrom has been researched. All for the Avatar. It's fine. End the turn. Fanger ever clear over here? Oh, they did it, look. Hold well on. It's a cool little area, this valley with two wonders and a infestation thing in it. So we should be able to attack now, right? Yes, it is broken. And they didn't make it so they have three, uh, six stacks, like idiots. Let's do this manually, I suppose as the last battle in this game probably what are these things there's the breaches in the walls I don't know what these tower things are we'll find out they're doing some strengthening things it seems so like they randomly select the target and strengthen them maybe or maybe you get to control it I don't know the fence has got sundered that was a baneful curse that they used there and it gave us all fortune and stuff. What is this? Oh, there's that Reaper. That's a Reaper unit over there. Are they, are they tier 5s or tier 4s? we will check soon. Doesn't let me do things. Speed up some of this. Tons of buffs going in. Raise. It did poison me, though. How much casting points do I have? 2, 4, 5. Bad. Don't have huge amounts of mana. So there is that. So what's the deal with this? Necrotic spire. Bolster oh bolsters undead. Heals them and gives them strengthened, okay. And here's the Reaper. It is a tier five. Looks freaking badass. They really stepped up their game in terms of unit models and stuff in Age of Wonders 4. It's got a melee strike, can consume corpses, it's got finger of death, 60% chance of destroying a unit if unsuccessfully they take a bunch of damage. And you get a zombie if they're not undead. 
Okay, it's a problem. Oh yeah, we got these Devastator Spheres. Guess you can roll forward. Didn't we get Onigas as well? Or did I not put them in this fight? Oh, maybe you can only get one... Like, siege machine at a time. I think that's a thing. What spell do I want to do? The giant fan the inferno. Oh, I don't have enough mana for this. I guess we'll go for this. Get that up. Could just put this literally anywhere, right? Yeah, put it there. <coughs> Alrighty. Time to charge. Oh, you can hit walls. Oh, I can summon someone dead. That's right. What an amazing spell. Because they they come up as... Yeah, they come up as Chaos Elves. So they get all of your enchantments. It's so freaking good. They have rebalanced this in the next update. Now the, the combat summons only last three turns. They're still super strong. And probably still the best pick. But at least they won't last forever. You can't summon anything. Okay, then. Is the Reaper... Where are you? Are you weak to things? Spirit and fire, maybe? Yeah, weak to spirit and fire. Anything I can seduce. Only 32% over there. Uh, let's go for it. Distracted them, at least. We can do this thing. some of that. We'll just start charging the wall breeds in. I don't really have anything that has the area of effect buffs, do I? Don't have any war shamans anymore. Not really. I'll send you up and put you on defense over here, buddy. Those guys can't move. This war breed can also go up and hang out on defense. A fury... Here from back here. Let's shoot this banshee a bit. Stuff. Phase beast, which has taken some damage. Do I have any way to heal now? I think I don't have much healing around here anymore. Fine. Charge. Warbreed can't quite charge in. Here's me Balor. Sunder the earth. And get a bit closer. That's going to be amazing. No. No. Come about here. Superb. This is a Warbreed. Can get up here. Oh, I can't do the, the sweeping attack, unfortunately. Is this a Nora? No, that's Azul, the bodyguard. Crack this guy there. Oh yeah, takes their spot kind of thing. It's alright. You can't get any further. This is a berserker. Come and crack the bodyguard. Big boom. Big old boom. You can do your area of effect thing. Hit my. Put it there. Good hits. Good, good hits. Now you have a heal. Not the best heal ever, but it's something. Okay, it's a Furies. There is a punk over here. What the hell is this thing? Oh, some fairies. So they're tier threes, so kill them. Got one. This is Delrec. So just put Delrec there and. Yeah, hasten. You can just charge in. Get on the fairies. Because they have ranged attacks, I think. And they've got some cow traps and stuff, whatever. Bleeding, it's fine. Even I'm flying. 
guess I guess it's fair enough. Turn. Nobody's horribly died yet on my team. Should be able to do this without losses. Don't think it was super smart of the ice elemental to teleport next to a Balor. Tried to finger of death me, damn you. Didn't get it at least. I wonder what the chance is or was. It was 60% base. I think every point of status resistance reduces it by 10%. I think. Oh wow, Warbreed took a bunch of damage. Good thing we gave you regen, buddy. You might still die horribly. My tower gonna shoot something? There we go. Alrighty. What can we do here? Usually I was spamming Ice Coffin. Oh, they're all immune to Frozen. Well, that's not good then, is it? Guess we'll do this. Some more fortune. Yeah, now that you can't charge. As impressive as it. So the Onager. One hex radius takes damage. Including my war breed if I send you in there. But I'm just gonna do this. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, and you should get a bunch of life stealing off it. So that's good. Wow, that really tanked my frame rate. All of that stuff going on. You can now murder this guy. Which is superb. And you should be able to shoot that hero to death, I would think, maybe. Apparently not. Got one hit point. Are you steadfast? Damn it. Yeah, you're steadfast. That's why I didn't die. Say dumb dumb. Um, murder. Start murder. Commence the death. In on the Reaper, I guess. You can't get to the Reaper, so you just come and crack that banshee. Furies. Triple shot over here. Beautiful damage. Crazy, crazy damage. And these skeletons and stuff. Let's run up. Uh, Alright, you can do a heal. You can't make it to the war breed, but you can heal this phase beast a bit. It's a regen. Alright. You defend. This war breed is indeed going to get up in the face of that Reaper. Lash. You got anything else? What is this? All oh, right, refresh all the things. Bond of inversion. I'm just gonna blast you twice with some crits. Apparently, good stuff. We can just run into the walls with this thing. But there's a bunch of enemies over here. Can you get anywhere good? Not really. Just gonna bust that wall open. Just in case someone needs to use it. You can. Oh, you're on melee unit, that's right. Sure, I'll run you in. Can't kill that. Hero. This is Toville. Can't quite make it anywhere interesting. Next unit. This guy. 
Do some of that. You can... Oh, not quite murdered a fairy, okay. Delrec can... Is it possible to assassinate the fairy and then get over there? Probably not. We should have moved the phase beast. Let's break you instead. Aren't they, me aren't they meant to leave a, uh, a zombie behind or something? Who can go? Oh, you guys. Good stuff. Still got steadfast on him, the bastard. Then he took two crit attacks of opportunity there. My turn? No. Don't know what a camera reset there. You just got a big heal, the Reaper. I guess they consumed the corpse or something. Did it take their turn, though? I've taken their turn to do that. The lesser cons consumed corpse is a free action. Don't think anything has died. Is that Warbreed still alive? He's standing. Yeah, 71 hit points is fine. Just fine. Okay. Where's that Balor? It's a ranged attack. Next and Berserk. I like it. I'm gonna throw this in here. I should have moved you up first, Tobil. Lots of inefficiencies here. It's all right. Oh, I could do a thing. I guess we can do another one of these. Kill you. Kill you. War breed. You still on the steadfast? What's going on? This is crap. Let's get rid of you. Because you're healing stuff. This is Delrec. Fly all the way to here. Can I assassinate you when you've got Steadfast? I can! Aha! I'm not sure why they still had Steadfast, even. Did I knock you off the tower? What happened to you? That's Anura themselves, right? Yeah. Cavalry Slayer. Cavalry Slayer. You can shoot the Reaper a bit. It's probably got lots of blight resistance, I would think. Oh, only two. Yeah, you can bleed a bit, it's okay. Is it worth just doing this? Looks like it's more damage. Big crack. Critted that guy to death. Old charges going in. Here's Carolash again. Blasted something to death. I don't even know what it was. Sure, I'll kill that guy. Eventually, there we go. Uh, just break stuff. I don't know. Not going to do anything in combat. Next units. Oh, you guys. More fortune and more strength. How far can you phase? 
pretty far. Some big old crits. Poor bastards. Can they kill my skeletons? Oh, they can. How dare you. <clears throat> Have some fire. Murder. Murder. Who the hell's alive? Try and leave Anura for last, shall we? Done. I just need to stand on here now. Oh, there's still a stack left. Just all turn left. Yeah, they didn't lose anything. Hold well on. It says we picked up some souls there. Weird. Is that because we have shadow affinity or something? Well, we did it. Victorious. As I started saying earlier, I think. I believe we were kind of lucky that we had Gideon in that game, close to us, and he hated everyone. So instead of declaring war with us, they got declared on by like everybody else and were distracted. So we were allowed to just kind of build up armies. If they did declare on us early, we would have to be much more aggressive and stuff. Turn 104, Victor stands proudly on the remains of their enemies. You subjugate the world through force as the empires of the past did before you. When the dust settles, you'll discover whether your cause was just. It that certainly wasn't. Or if you mere, merely fanned the flames of entropy. Why is there a giant spider over here? Is that the mount of that guy? Show my journey. Well, here's my journey. We were actually... What turn is this? Turn 51, where we became kind of super strong. But look how, look how far behind we were here. Gideon started insanely strong. They must be top immediately because of their good stability and stuff from their traits. There it is. Victorious. Uh, sure, we'll ascend Rakesh Yuda Twisted. Oh, and I get to spend points. So I'm probably, probably going to wait now before the next run for the update and the DLC to drop. My plan was to do Materium Dwarves, which I know is very cliche, but I like cliches, damn it. But they're gonna add the big dragon, dragon lord guys. So maybe I'll be one of those. Let me know if you have a preference or if you'd like to see something else, maybe I'll do it. But um, yeah, thank you for hanging out and watching this series. And I'll see you next time when this update drops. Thanks guys.